Fox AM. We are live from Branson Landing, and Kaylee, of course, has joined us <laughs> as always. Now, Kelly teased something a minute ago, and she said you're visiting like a teeny tiny chapel. That's right. So, uh, constructed in 2009, these are tucked into the woods, and they're cedar mini churches, bringing respite and uh, spiritual awakening to Branson tourists and community members alike. Uh, and it's not the only one in existence. I sat down, talked to some of the creators, some of the visionaries of these mini chapels, and here's a look. He even said, I'll God zap the willing. So if you come in, you get a God zapping. And you haven't been in yet. <laughs> Bud and Linda Lynn are building mini churches across America, and all it takes is a few resources. 14 by 16 is the uh, dimensions and then we can actually put together the edifice for about $4,000 worth of material. Lots of passion. He said, build me a little chapel so they can come in and enjoy it. Some help from strangers. I see people coming in, they dust, they bring a wreath at Christmas, they put flowers at the altar. And donations. People that say, Linda, I've got a beautiful stained glass lamp that would look pretty in a country chapel. Or I've got six wooden pews, would you like to have them? Their caterpillar dream quickly grew wings. We actually thought we were just going to put one in every county of Missouri. I, I thought small, but God thought big. People began donating land and one chapel quickly multiplied. There's a plan for that land. <laughs> There's a God plan for that land. <laughs> chapel Woods is one of four many chapels across the country specializing in ordainments, Sunday services, and even small weddings. It only holds 22 people and a skinny preacher. But the biggest foot traffic comes from strangers. We keep the door open for the visitors here, which is primarily what it's for, for those who don't normally go to church. With a book perched on a table for guests to describe their experience. A little girl wrote, oh, I'm so happy to have this little chapel all week. She was staying over there. I'm gonna bring my little sister and my mommy will be so glad we can preach, P-R-E-E-C-H, all week, instead of P-R-E-A-C-H. Some moments are more than just words. A lady who had three or four kids came in and her little kids fell to the floor and they said, Mommy, we feel Jesus in here. And with a hand-built pulpit. Building this, I'm thinking, yeah, this is gonna be for three or four people. But when you look at the scope, the big scope, the big picture, there are probably thousands of people that are coming here. And scriptures written into the foundation. There are scriptures underneath the flooring and, and behind the walls. There's a big God in these little chapels. The Holy Spirit leaves when the Holy Spirit wants to. And then the Lord tells us what to do next, so we just let, let those doors open. Doors that are open to all. Everybody has to matter. Everybody does matter. And if we can do anything at all to touch people and to reach people through the, through, through the Word and through the Kingdom of the Lord, I think that's what we need today. If you dwell in the shadow of the Most High God, that's a cool place to be. And if you're dwelling in His shadow, you got to be close enough to Him to be in His shadow. So this flagship location is located near Silver Dollar City. You can find more information at Chapel Trails across America. The other three locations, the one in Hawaii is still kind of under, under uh, construction. And then the other two are at the Gummy Camp near Forsyth. And then another one is in California. Wow. That is fantastic. They've got plans for two more uh, at the Passion Play in Eureka Springs, mm -hmm. as well as that giant cross near Branson. They're right. going to have one there, too. So these are yes. very small, confined chapels that allow anyone to come in and uh, experience the love of Jesus. Oh, oh, I love that. I would love to go. So, yeah. so people, do they have a website or anything? Yeah, Chapel Trail ch Chapel. Chapel trails across America. Okay, so that's going so to tell you So just search for that is. and you'll find it. Can I tell you, that's the, that giant cross on 65, that makes yeah. perfect sense to have one near that right. because it, you could see the cross for, for so many miles yeah. on either side of 65 yeah. and that would be the perfect place to yeah. have one. I yeah. love that. People can just go in at their own leisure anytime yeah. and just hang out and have some alone time with, right. with, with the good Lord. They prefer making them uh, around walking trails mm -hmm. so people can just walk by. Oh, hey, here's a small little chapel. Let's go inside. Let's check it out. Uh, so they get more foot traffic that way, but uh, they're open to, you know, anything. 
Do you know, um, would they be available for like weddings? I was going to ask you that same yep. thing. They've, they've already done a few weddings in that flagship location. Uh -huh. So uh, the other ones are up for weddings too. Oh, it can only fit about it can only fit about twenty three people. Well, some people like small weddings. That's but. my idea of a perfect wedding because uh -huh. it's cheap. Yeah, I cheaper. Would say a small and, wedding. And here's is what you say because when you're planning a wedding, then you oh I've got to invite. You just say we only have room for twenty three people. <laughs> I got to get my family right. in here. Yeah, you keep so, that list short. That's right. So yeah. How fun! That is I love awesome. that for the Ozarks. I can't wait to visit. Yeah, yeah, and they're everywhere too. I mean, if you head out to California, you'll find one there. If you head out to Hawaii. Uh, within the next few months, maybe a year or so, you'll find one out there. So, uh, didn't you, Kaylee? Everywhere. Remember last year on the Girlfriend Getaway? Didn't you go to a tiny chapel there also? We somewhere? did. Where was that? I don't remember where that was, but yeah, it was super small. Super. Maybe six people in that one. Oh, really? That's okay. even better wedding right yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> six people, Kelly. Your right mom, your dad, side. their mom, and their mom, dad. And that's it. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Keep it small. Keep it cheap. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I can't wait to see it. Is it? Does it have a glass in it? Uh, there are some windows. It isn't air conditioned. They have some fans, but there are some people that ran some electrical for mm -hmm. heating. So in the winter time, it is more suitable for those colder temperatures. Awesome. Yeah. I love Kaylee getting out in the Ozarks yeah, and seeing what's out there and letting us know what's happening. Find the treasures. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. Kelly treasures and Kaylee, I also want to point out really quick. Kelly and I are entertainers, and sometimes when entertainers have to pay their dues, you don't make enough money, you have to wait tables. And I found it very ironic that in 2007, I was waiting tables right over here at Famous Dave's Barbecue. Now, just talk about what, a live transformation, 2007. 2007. I was over there waiting tables at Famous Dave's, and now here we are shooting a morning TV show right outside Famous Dave's. That, that is can so tell wild. you how life can change. Jeremy, I need 13 an 13 years. Can you get me one? I do. Uh, yes, and by the way, I was. And I'll have a hamburger too. Okay, and you, would you like uh, fries with that? Yes. Pickles, ketchup, mustard. All, yes, all, all the fixings. Yeah. I tell you, my first day waiting tables. Yeah. First table. I spilled a Mountain Dew on a gentleman's oh. lap. Oh, it happens to the best of us. That's a bad feeling. <laughs> it is. But you know, we've all done that. We've all yeah. waited tables. Yeah. We've all spilled things on people. Yeah, it we? is. I just, I just had that goosebump moment as I knew we were coming. I said, "Wow, you never know where life is going to take you." You don't. Yeah. It's so awesome. You never know. And they have really good barbecue there. By yeah, the way. of course they do. Side famous note. Dave's, famous for the barbecue. Side note. There you go. Uh, all right. Thanks so much, Kaylee. Coming <laughs> up, I'm going to try to say it right. Kaylee's been practicing. We're going to talk to. <laughs> don't get fancy. Chef Cody. Yeah. From Guy Fieri's. There you go. Restaurants. I think we did that. I think I did, did it better right? than Guy yeah. Fieri. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Yeah. Fieri. Fieri. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Kitchen and bar. That's how he <laughs> says it on 